All right, sweet. So what I asked you guys to do for this problem was to uh, find the vertex and also to find the x-intercepts, correct? Yeah. All right. So the main important thing that we want to look at is we want to determine, you know, is this a quadratic? And remember, our quadratic form comes in ax squared plus bx plus c. And we want to take a quadratic, and let's just, 2, let's just say it uh, is equal to 0. We want to take it from our definition of a quadratic to our quadratic form, which is a times x minus h squared plus k equals 0. So we're going to have to put it to that form. And to do that, we're going to have to use the process of completing the square. Before I do completing the square, though, that's squared, right? Yeah. Before I do that, though, I want to make this look like that. All right? I don't want to get confused on um, what the what actually the uh, what actually these numbers are. I want to make sure they're all on the same side. So to do that, I'm going to add the 12x on both sides and subtract an 18 on both sides. So therefore, I have 6k squared plus 12k minus 18 equals zero. All right. All I'm doing is I'm rewriting it so I have it based in this definition. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make it look like your definition of a quadratic. Get it into that format, all right? Now the next thing I want to do is before when we're completing the square, a has to equal one. So we got to get our coefficient of x squared to equal one. So you look right there, I have a six in front of there, so I have to factor that out. Now you could factor it out out of all three terms. To me, it's less confusing if I can just remember to factor it out of the first two terms. You don't need to factor it out, you could, but you don't need to factor it out of that third term. And sometimes you, you can't even. It's just important that you make sure you factor out these first two terms. So I'm going to factor out a 6, and now I'm left with k squared plus 2k minus 18 equals 0. Everybody follow me what I did? So two steps. Rearranged it, and now I factored out. So now the coefficient inside these parentheses, the coefficient of my k squared is now equal to 1. So now what I can do is I can create, so right now this is a binomial. But what I want to do is make it a perfect square trinomial. I want to find in my constant that's going to make this a binomial square. And remember, just like you guys did your factoring practice, um, what we're going to do is we're going to want to get a trinomial and factor it down to two binomials. So to do to make this a perfect square binomial, what I need or trinomial, I'm going to take b divided by two and square it. So in this case, in this binomial right here, you can see that 2 is going to be my b. It's the coefficient of my linear term. We don't need to want to go back up to here. We want to talk about, um, we want to talk about our terms inside the parentheses. Our coefficient of our linear term is b, which is 2. So what I have is 2 divided by 2 squared, which is 1. 1 squared is equal to 1. So I'm going to add 1 inside the parentheses. And then remember when we talked about equations, right? Algebra 1, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Or as long as you add on one side, you can also subtract on that same side and you're going to be okay. So since I added 1, I'm going to subtract 1, right? Add 1, subtract 1. Keep it the same. Keep your equation like, you know, balance, stuff like that. But here comes the tricky part, which you guys always have to remember. That, this is not really adding 1 on this equation. This is a 1 being multiplied by 6. So if I'm going to subtract 1, I also have to multiply that by 6. Okay? Minus 18 equals 0. That's the most common mistake right there. Students forget what's, if there's an operation that's happening to that 1. Yes? Can you just find like, all of it by 6? Yes, I told you one way you could have factored, you could have factored things out in the beginning. You, that was a, that's another way to go through it. So now what I'll be working through with this is now I can rewrite this. Now that since I've created this to be a perfect square trinomial, when you guys factor this, what you'll notice is you'll get 6 times k plus 1 squared. Because that's, that's what that b divided by 2 creates. It creates a perfect square trinomial, which is a binomial squared. Then I can simplify this, which is a negative 24 equals 0. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we found the vertex, which is opposite h, which is negative 1, comma, negative 24.
four. All right, that's why it's so important to complete the square and put it into this uh, into this format. So the next thing we need to do is solve for the x-intercepts. And remember, the x-intercepts are when your y value equals zero. Fortunately, already in this equation, we have the y value equals zero. All right. So now what we need to do is just solve for k. We need to isolate the variable. So we need to undo addition and subtraction first. So I'm going to undo subtraction of 24. Okay, 24, I get 6k plus 1 squared equals 24. Now undo division by 6. So I have k plus 1 squared equals 24 divided by 6 is 4. So now you can see I have the I have the expression k plus 1 squared equals 4. To undo that, you're going to have to square root. So we're using all of our inverse operations. So now I have k plus 1 equals, now remember, when you introduce the square root, we have to include the, the, uh, the positive and the negative. So that's going to be plus or minus 2. Because the square root of 4 could be um, positive 2. It also could be negative 2. Then I'll subtract the 1 on both sides. So I have k equals negative 1 plus or minus 2. And then what you have is negative 1 plus 2 is going to be 1. And then you have uh, negative 1 minus 2 is going to be a negative 3. And there you go for your two solutions. All right, questions? <laughs>